Okay, page 37, MTS Algebra 1, 1. 1.4. Uh, this will be 25 through 35. This will be your first video. 25 through 35. And we got problem number 25. Uh, my first... Solving sad map, right? Solving sad map. So I'm start with S A. Okay? These guys are linked. So whatever subtracting or, or adding, I'm going to do the opposite. So it's the opposite of minus seven. Add. Add. What I do to one side, I do to the other. Right? That's all we're doing. Okay? Six H equals. 24. Okay? Now, what do I do? I change colors. Okay? If you get used to changing colors, you got to be able to see your steps. Okay? At least if you have two colors, it's better than just one. Okay? So, if you use a pencil and a pen, that helps. If you use the pens that we have, that helps. Okay? So now what do I do? I have six times, remember, sad map. D, M, right? They're together. They're hooked. Opposite. Right? Sad met. Right? Sad met. We'll deal with exponents and parentheses later. Okay? But we're just doing S-A, boom. D, M. What's opposite of times 6? Divide. Divide. So divide by 6. What I do to one side, I do to the other. H equals 4. And that's it. You're done. Okay? Same thing here. For 27. Sad map. SA, the opposite of adding 3? Subtract. Subtract 3. What do I do to one side? Do to the other. So I have 3x equals 15. Change the color. Right? What's the opposite of multiply? Divide. Do it to both sides. I have x equals 15 divided by 3 is? Five. There you go. We're done. That simple. Literally, we're going to have three or three problems like this on your test. That's it. Can't okay? You need to move up. Go ahead and move up. No, I Okay. I know that this camera can get in the way sometimes, so if you need to move out of the way, move a little bit, do whatever you can. Okay? 29. Again, I'm going to do the opposite. Whatever's happening to the T. In essence, what's happening here, they have it written backwards, right? Mm -hmm. The variables should always come first. If I wanted to rewrite it, I could. I could take all of this and put it out front. What I have to know here is this is plus or minus. If I keep that in my head, plus or minus, right? Then I can keep everything straight. That means this is a positive, correct? Mm -hmm. So what's the opposite of positive 5? Negative, negative, negative 5. Right? What I do to one side, I do to the other. Okay? Now I have... 27 equals a negative 3t. Now what do I do? What's the opposite of times? Division. Division. Divide by what? Just 3? Negative. Yeah, negative 3. We want to get rid of the whole thing, right? So I'm going to divide by negative 3. What do I do to one side? I do to the other. And I get negative 9. 9. Very good. Equals t. And that's it. How are we doing? This ain't bad, right? No. Okay? I know for some of us, it's not hard at all. And I know for some of us, you're looking at me like, I don't know what he's doing, but I ain't saying anything. Okay? Alright. 
Here's the funky, well, no, not the funky one yet. All right, let's do 31. 31. It's kind of funky. There's a fraction in it. Two ways to go about this. We can get rid of the fraction by multiplying by the denominator, or we can deal with the fraction. It really doesn't matter to me. Okay? I'm, I'm to the point, I saw you guys, most of you guys do really well with these fractions. I know you don't like them, but you're doing really well. So think of it. What's the opposite of adding one half? Subtracting one half. Subtracting one half. Minus one half, minus one half. So if I have one candy bar and I take a half of it away, how much do I have? Half candy bar. That's not that bad, right? It's not that bad. I can do that. So let's just stick with that. One half equals two x. Here's the problem. We have fractions. And now I'm going to divide, right? Because that's the opposite of times, right? That's the opposite of times. Whenever you see fractions, and you know you're going to divide, I want you to do something for me. Turn this into a fraction. That's just 2 over 1, right? That's just 2 over 1. And so, what we're going to do is multiply by the reciprocal. Right? Because if you divide by that number, you have to flip and multiply, right? Mm -hmm. So if we multiply by the reciprocal, it's the same thing, right? So if I multiply by one half, right? That gets rid of the twos and the ones, yeah? So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to multiply by one half, right? And then what do I end up with? One fourth. You see how that's a little funky? Right? Okay, so let's do it again. Okay? So, again, I had 1 half equals 2x. Right? Mm -hmm. And I turned the 2x into 2 over 1 with one color. So I, can, I know my steps, right? Then another color, let's use black this time. Okay? Then another color, I said, hey, What's the reciprocal of 2 over 1? 1 over 2. So I can put it right here if I want, right? And then what I do to one side? I got to do to the other. Okay? And so what happens is these cancel. Yeah? And so I get just the x. And we can make it more complicated. We can say, how many times does 1 go into 1? One? 1, right? How many times does 2 go into 2? 1, right? That's 1 over 1. What's 1 over 1 equal to? 1. What's in front of this x? 1. A 1. It's just invisible, right? So we can make it more complicated if we like. I like to keep things simple. Ow! Okay? So, this is set up. What's 1 times 1? One? 1. What's 2 times 2? Two? 4. And that's how we get it. Okay? Focus. So, Richard. I got 4 6 J. What's the opposite of multiplying by 4 6 J? Divide. Yeah, divide. When I divide, I. Flip and multiply, right? Yeah. I flip and multiply. I can't just multiply, right? I gotta flip it first, right? So what am I hitting this with? What am I gonna multiply this with? Six over four. That's right. Six over four. And what I do to one side? Do to the other. Okay? Now here's the thing. Six goes into six, four goes into four, so all I'm left with is that J or the J, however you wanna do it, right? But, how many times does, now, you can do this two different ways. You can multiply it first, right, and you get 6 times 2 is 12, and 4 times 3 is 12, right? And what's 12 over 12? Uh-oh. Did I mess it over? No, it just turned out. Okay. So, and what's 12 over 12? 1, right? So we got 1. Oh, is equal to J. Okay? 
Or we could have just canceled them out. Six goes, three goes into six twice, two goes into four twice, and two goes into two once. Right? In any way you want to do this, it's your way. Whatever way makes you happy. Whatever way you understand. Okay? As long as you get one. Okay? Next. All right. Got fractions again. This one, I can deal with fractions, or I can just get rid of them. Literally. If I multiply everything by the common denominator, what's the common denominator? Five. Five. So, if I do this, then that's 5 over 5. If I do this, then that's 5x over 5, right? If I do this, then that's 10 over 5, right? How many times is 5 going to 5? 1. One. How many times is 5 going to 5? 1. How many times is 5 going to 10? Two. Okay? Now, do the opposite. Remember, this is plus a minus, right? So that means I'm adding a one. What's the opposite of adding one? Subtracting one. Subtracting one. Okay? When I do to one side, I do to the other. Negative x equals one. So now what do I do? What's the opposite? What do I got to do? It's multiplying by one, I divide by one, right? Okay, I divide by negative 1. I divide by negative 1. And I get x is equal to negative 1. And that's 25 through 35.